The Sad Life of James Brolin. James Brolin was born on July 18, 1940, age 80, was born Craig Kenneth Bruderlin in Westwood Village, Los Angeles, California. The eldest of two brothers and two sisters, he is the son of Helen Sue, a housewife, and Henry Hurst Bruderlin, a building contractor. As a young child, he was interested in animals and in model airplanes, which he began building and flying when he was 10. As a teenage filmgoer in the mid-1950s, he was particularly fascinated with actor James Dean, and he began shooting 8mm films. When his parents invited a director over to his family's house for dinner before auditioning, he met another fellow actor and classmate, Ryan O'Neill, who was about a year younger than Brolin. The two clicked and later enrolled in University High School located in West Los Angeles. However, Brolin's own acting exposed his stifling shyness. His assurance grew when O'Neill invited him to a casting agency. Brolin graduated from high school in 1958, and his family was already encouraging him to become an actor like O'Neill. Go through the ups and downs of his life. Endless difficulties in the love story. He has been married three times, and has three children. In 1966, he married Jane Cameron Agee, a wildlife activist and aspiring actress at 20th Century Fox, 12 days after they first met. The couple had two children, Josh, and Jess. They were divorced in 1984. Jane died in a car accident on February 13, 1995, one day after son Josh's 27th birthday. In 1985, Brolin met actress Jan Smithers on the set of Hotel, and they married in 1986. The couple had a daughter, Molly Elizabeth Jan Smithers filed for divorce from Brolin in 1995. In 1996, Brolin met Barbara Streisand through a friend, and they married on July 1, 1998. The couple resides in Malibu, California. Brolin is the stepfather of Streisand's only child, Jason Gould. In 1960, Brolin attended Santa Monica City College and studied drama at the University of California at Los Angeles before getting a contract with 20th Century Fox. He made three guest appearances on the popular 1960s series Batman, alongside Adam West and Burt Ward, as well as roles in The Virginian, and Owen Marshall, counselor at law alongside Arthur Hill and Lee Majors. He also had a recurring role on the short-lived television series The Monroes. In 1961 at Fox, he started out as a contract player in Sandra D. Movies. Brolin appeared on an episode of Bus Stop. The part led to parts in other television productions such as Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Margie, Love, American Style, Twelve O'Clock High, and The Long, Hot Summer. At the age of 20, he changed his surname from Bruderlin to Brolin to become James Brolin. While in school struggling to make it big, he met actor Clint Eastwood. Brolin also had small roles in several films including Take Her, She's Mine, Dear Bridget, Von Ryan's Express, and Fantastic Voyage. The following year, his first big role was in The Cape Town Affair, but it did not receive any success at the box office. Brolin was ultimately fired by 20th Century Fox. In 1969 he co-starred in the TV series Marcus Welby, M.D., portraying a doctor. During the 1970s, the 6 feet 4 inch Brolin began appearing in leading roles in films, including Skyjacked and Westworld. By the mid-1970s, he was a regular leading man in films, starring in Gable and Lombard, the Car, Capricorn 1, The Amityville Horror, Night of the Juggler, and High Risk. When Roger Moore expressed his desire to vacate the role of James Bond, Brolin undertook screen tests to replace him in Octopussy. It has been reported that not only were these successful, but Brolin was actually on the point of moving to London to begin work on the film when the producers persuaded Moore to continue. In 1985, Brolin parodied his near-hiring as James Bond in the film Pee-wee's Big Adventure. 
In a film within the film, he merged the characters of Bond and Pee Wee Herman, the real version of whom was played by Paul Rubens. He is referred to as P.W. and the role of Pee Wee Herman's girlfriend Dottie as played by Morgan Fairchild. In 1968, Brolin transferred to Universal Studios, where he auditioned for a co-starring role opposite seasoned actor Robert Young in the popular medical drama Marcus Welby, M.D. The series was one of the top-rated television shows of the day. Brolin became widely known for his portrayal of youthful, skilled assistant physician Dr. Stephen Kiley. The chemistry between Young and Brolin clicked and even came to attract young women for its medical interest throughout the show's run. In its first season in 1970, Brolin won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance by an actor in a supporting role and was subsequently nominated three more times. He was also nominated for Golden Globes three times for Best Supporting Actor and won twice between 1971 and 1973. Brolin also starred in the television films Short Walk to Daylight and Trapped. He and his first wife Jane also appeared on several episodes of the 1970s game show Tattletales. In 1983, Brolin returned to television to star in another series and teamed with producer Aaron Spelling's primetime soap opera, Hotel, for ABC. On Hotel Brolin played Peter McDermott, a hotel manager. For Hotel Brolin was nominated twice for Golden Globes between 1983 and 1984 for Best Performance by an Actor in a TV Series but did not win either time. He would eventually serve as a director on the show, as well. On one episode of Hotel, he invited his future wife Jan Smithers to guest star on the show as the writers suggested that they develop a storyline for them, as Brolin was going through a difficult divorce at the time. By 1988, after five seasons, Hotel was about to close its doors for good and the show was cancelled. That same year, his co-star, Nathan Cook had died of an allergic reaction to penicillin, and Brolin along with the rest of his cast attended his funeral. As the new decade approached, Brolin starred in both Angel Falls for CBS and Extreme for ABC, although neither matched the popularity of his earlier series. In 1997, Brolin's luck changed with the syndicated television series Pensacola, Wings of Gold. He played the role of Lieutenant Colonel Bill Raven Kelly, whose job was to teach young Marines in a special unit, before being promoted to work with a group of talented Marine fighter pilots. Brolin served as an executive producer and director on the series. In 2000, however, the show was cancelled after 66 episodes due to low ratings. In 1997, he also hosted Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction, a television series that shows five stories that have to do with the paranormal and supernatural. Jonathan Frakes took his place after the first season of the show. In 1997, Brolin Guest starred on Roseanne. In Part 1, Roseanne and Jackie go to a luncheon at the Lanford Country Club, where they meet the son of their old boss Edgar Wellman Jr. of the Wellman Plastics Factory. Brolin has had a number of supporting roles in major cinema releases since 2000. These include the role of General Ralph Landry, outgoing director of the Office of National Drug Control Policy in Steven Soderbergh's Oscar-winning Traffic. As Jack Barnes in Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can, a minor role in the 2003 comedy A Guy Thing, as philandering husband Robert Hatch in the 2006 comedy The Alibi, as Jack Jennings in the 2007 film The American Standards, as TV network anchor Frank Harris in Richard Shepard's The Hunting Party, and as Brian in Joel Hopkins' 2008 film Last Chance Harvey with Emma Thompson and Dustin Hoffman. In 2002, Brolin played Governor Robert Ritchie of Florida, the Republican opponent of President Jed Bartlett, on the TV series The West Wing. In late 2003, Brolin portrayed Ronald Reagan in the television film The Reagans. CBS passed on the film, and it aired on cable channel Showtime, also owned by Viacom.
the role earned Brolin his fifth Emmy Award nomination, as well as his fifth Golden Globe nomination. In 2005, Brolin Guest starred on the TV series Monk as casino owner Daniel Thorne. In 2006, Brolin appeared in the A&E Network film Wedding Wars, playing an anti-gay marriage governor. In 2008, Brolin Guest starred on Law & Order, SVU as astronaut Colonel Dick Finley. The same year, Brolin also starred in the lead role in the sci-fi channel film Lost City Raiders. Brolin appeared in the 2009 comedy film The Goods, Live Hard, Sell Hard. He also appeared in a 2009 episode of Psych, titled High Noon-ish, in which he played the sheriff of a tourist attracting Wild West Town. The episode was in part a parody of the 1973 film Westworld, in which he had starred. Brolin has played Richard Castle's mysterious father in two episodes of ABC's Castle, in 2013 and 2014. He appeared in the NBC sitcom Community as William Winger, Jeff Winger's estranged father. From 2015 until 2019, he played the role of John, the family patriarch, in the CBS comedy Life in Pieces. He will continue to write his career path. Inevitable separation and uncertain breakups, people leaving the world on an unforeseen day, his father's death in 2002, and many of his marriages. The good memories with loved ones always have a bit of sadness in his eyes when he thinks about them, but people will always adapt to them. And he can get over it. Good job.